guys, another repair video. Little Steely Dan playing on the background there. You guys know I love Steely Dan, so let's lower that down real quick. Today it's going to be one of my own, my own speaker. This is an Ohm Electrodynamic Computer, uh, sorry, uh, Electrodynamic Speaker System Model L. Uh, made right here in Brooklyn, New York, USA. They're still manufacturing these speakers. Not exactly like this one because this is from, I think this one's from 1972 or 74, somewhere around that area. Uh, I've had these for about 15 years now. I believe I am the second owner. And when I got them, the foam was completely torn apart due to the age. So I replaced that uh, with new foam about 10 years ago or so. Uh, but the problem is I was playing the speaker and I noticed that the it was cutting off. So I uh, I checked already and it wasn't wiring. Uh, tweeter's fine. The mid-range is fine. The problem is the woofer. The woofer cuts on and off. So it's two things. It sounded like the voice coil was uh, either heating up and it was rubbing. But when I press it in lightly, there is no rubbing noise. So I think it's something else. So let's check it out. Okay, so I took out the speaker and very nice construction. It actually had a gasket on the speaker and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and flip it around. This is an extremely heavy speaker. Um, I'm going to venture to say it's at least 20 something pounds. Um, I mean, this is the magnet here, the magnet structure, but look at the back plane on this thing. I mean, it is huge. Um, nice beefy speaker. Um, it is original and there's the date code there. And of course, I noticed already playing around with it just a little bit before I hit the play button or the record button that one of the spider uh, wires was is corroded. It's actually kind of greenish. See if you see the color there. Kind of greenish. So it's corroded. So we're going to go ahead and this is going to be a very quick repair video. Basically, I'm going to clean this out with a little um, uh, cleaner and then flux and basically put that guy back on and I, that really concludes the the fix of the speaker so let's uh, solder that and see how it sounds okay so we have finished the repair and the repair consisted of attaching the spider wire over to the speaker terminal on this side so it was soldered here but I noticed that it was a little bit too short now that it had broken so I had to extend it with a little piece of solid wire I made a little loop and threaded the uh, spider wire into that loop and now we're good to go we soldered all that together and now we are going to test see what we got here and I have signal here from my amplifier, so we'll connect that one there. Where's my negative? And let's connect this guy here. And there we go. We got sound. So all we need to do is put everything back together. Sorry this was a boring repair, but if uh, I guess if uh, next time you guys have a speaker that stopped working, don't consider it it's popped, you know, open it up. Um, you know, if it's already not working, open it up and see what's exactly is going on. Check all the wires, check all the connections. And my problem was the wire came loose right there. It was uh, broken off. So that was the end of this repair. So I'm gonna put everything back together. Hopefully this works and um, thumbs up and subscribe till the next repair video.